Feeling? Feel good. Feel good. Uh, ready to go. I'm peaking at the right time. Uh, I'm just excited to get it on. Excited to How big a deal to put on a show versus this? In my business, man, it's always it's always about winning. But you know, built into that, you always want to put on the show. Um, but when it comes first, you know, you can't you can't predict. Uh, you know, the type of outcomes. You just gotta fight, man. You gotta go in there and fight and put your blinders on and just, you know, let everything unfold. And, you know, when you come in great shape and your mind is in the right place, you know, more times than not, you're gonna put on a great show. This is the latest in the series of fights you've had where you've had long layoffs beforehand. Uh, you think the fact that you've done that before gives you a little worry about rust for this one? I don't worry about it, man. I, I, don't, I don't abuse my body. Um, I'm dedicated to this sport, very dedicated, whether I gotta fight on the books or not. Uh, I would never make an excuse about the last two years ever. That's that's a chapter in the book of my life. I don't regret anything. Um, you guys know the story very well, and it kind of is what it is, you know. And we'll see we'll see what happens. But I I don't talk about it anymore. It's not in the forefront of my mind. It, it gets brought up uh, even even though it's you know it's been a year and a half. Um, but it's not it's not something that. Will ever be brought up in terms of an excuse or, or some type of crutch or anything like that. You gotta. That's the cards we were dealt. We handled it. We got through it, and, and, and that's it. You know, we gotta. We gotta deal with what comes with that. So, uh, like I said many times before, I wasn't the first fighter that's gone through that, and I won't be the last. It's just part of what comes with the situation. Comes with my sport, and I have to learn to deal with it. What, now, kind, of, what kind of emotional lift do you get uh, from fighting in Oakland? Oh, it's tremendous. Um, it's tremendous. It's, uh, like I've spoke, said many times before, I used to drive by that arena on 880 as a kid and, and, and on my way to this gym and, you know, wonder if I could make it, make it there one, one, one day. And Bird used to say with confidence, my trainer, that you go headline there one day. And as I got a little older, you know, 16, 17, I used to go to uh, some of the cards that were put on, you know, when I was still an amateur and I used to just dream. And just wonder again if I could if I could make it there. And early in my career, you know, I pushed Dan Goosen to put me in there, and he was saying, "Man, you're not you're not ready yet. You're, you got to be a main event fighter." Okay, and I had to get overcome that hump, and then uh, overcame that. And then you know, next thing you knew, in 2009, I was in a sink or swim type of fight against Edison Miranda. Uh, and if I won that, I, I was probably a good chance I was going to get a title shot. And the rest is history. And here we are again. I think my seventh or eighth time. So it's always a blessing.